Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your weekly reading for the week of October 17th through the 24th. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Well, for uh, personal readings, I also offer IET, which is a healing modality. The information is below. I have a lovely website, rightcolor.com. I'm a textile artist. I make uh, pocket squares and bandanas and scarves and bags and uh, t-shirts. <laughs> visit or come visit, I don't know which is more appropriate. And let's get to your reading, Sag. Let's get to your reading. Let's see what's going on with you. Really beautiful. Wow. It feels good. I, you know, I've been at it for a while. So you're my uh, uh, 10th sign. I have to do a different order. So it's been nice. The energy feels good. All right. Hmm. Your intuition is going to tell you, um, I feel like your intuition is going to, you know, guide your work, and it's also going to guide you into um, toward the people who are more um, balanced, more interested in giving and taking. I feel like, you know, your intuitive quality is really going to be very high. So it's going to be in your work and also in your personal relationships. And it's, it's going to lead you toward, um, you know, people who are willing to give as well as receive. I think it's so that like people, it either could be people from your past or people that remind you of the past. In a good way. I think this is work. I think this is work. Hmm. You know what it feels like? It feels like uh, because you were able to give up certain um, maybe uh, expectations or like pie in the sky ideas and you're able to see things in a bigger way from a bigger perspective, it's actually going to really serve you in terms of uh, making money, being successful at making money, at being secure. Uh, I feel like that's what it is. It, you know, the whole thing, it feels like um, a very kind-hearted uh, exchange, very sweet, very um, friendly. Yeah, I, I, you know, I had a similar reading to you a couple of weeks ago. I had a, I now I'm, I'm, I'm remembering it. I had a similar reading a couple of weeks ago. And like, I feel like your work stuff in the past has been, I don't know, it's getting, everyone's getting a lot of work readings today for some reason, or like that's the way it seems to be going. In the past, it was like, you know, you show up on the first day of work and, you know, you have your little outfit together and you have all this enthusiasm. And then it's sort of like, well, there's no one there to greet you. There's no one there to tell you what to do. There's no one there, you know? And it's like, you keep on trying to maintain your enthusiasm and maintain like an ethic. And it's like, well, what for? And it's very disheartening to be in a situation like that, you know, to be in a situation where it's like, I'm not seen, I'm not heard, I'm not respected, I'm not anything. And um, it's almost like spirit heard you and said, no, actually, I think you do have a lot to offer. And um, you've been hoping and wishing in a way for something new and you're willing to give up this sort of unrealistic fantasy that you had. And so I'm gonna put you in the right place with the right people 
who treat you kindly, with respect, with um, uh, who acknowledge your presence, who acknowledge your ideas. Um, yeah, and the only remnant that's left, actually, just get this. The only remnant that's left is you might feel a sort of um, resentment, right? Or anger still for the past. And um, okay, so sometimes I read this card as, you know, there they are, there's a person, right? So this is seen as a crossroads a lot of times. And it's like they have this decision. They have this and they have that and kind of neither one is really a good decision. Okay. But sometimes this could be peace, right? Because it's very balanced. The other thing about this is sometimes you just need to drop them both. I'm not, you know, I'm not carrying this crap around with me anymore. I, I, you know, it doesn't serve any purpose. It's not the here and now. It was then and it's done and it led me here. So let it be. I'm just going to let it be. Yeah, I feel like if you, if you, so let's say you still do have some anger or resentment for the past or for some weird situation, especially I think work, it could be personal too. If I feel like if you let it go, then you make room for more illumination, for more success, for more. So if it comes up and you feel it, you know, you basically say to your higher self or to the higher power or your inner guide or whatever. This isn't important. I don't really want to feel this anymore. You know, I'm going to get all wrapped up in anger and I, it's not, it, it, it takes up too much of my time and my energy. And I would rather, you know, eat ice cream or plant flowers or go see a movie or read a book or take a walk or have a laugh or concentrate what's on the here and now and what, who are the people in front of me and around me that do appreciate me. And let me just be in that instead of feeding the anger and feeding the um, resentment because at the end of the day, you know, you keep on feeding it. It just, it's ravenous. It's just ravenous. So I think it's best to just first of all avoid it and if it comes up like acknowledge that it's there and say you know i felt you for a while but i don't feel you anymore you, you can go you can go you, you don't fight it you acknowledge it's there and then let it go because I feel like where you're at now, especially in terms of like business and stuff, can lead to a lot of opportunities. It can lead to a lot of opportunities. That's what I'm getting. The reason I went off on that whole thing was, you know, I got this card. So this is like grief and disappointment and loss and, you know, see it from a different perspective, you know, see it as the impetus that you needed to move forward, you know, because she works in mysterious ways. She works in very mysterious ways. So that's what I get for you. Blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.